okay thank you so much for taking our time at 11 in the evening dude it's it's <laughs> it's pleasure it's pleasure like sure. today's welcome so yeah yeah so yeah let me know thank how jazz yeah. nation and bro thank you jazz nation um so yeah. yeah bro couple of things are happening jazz nation mein to abhi i'm working mm-hmm. with artists um helping them with their gigs and all so you know these singer songwriters guitarists they know how to play their yeah. instrument and everything but they don't yeah. know how to approach these guys and ask for money <laughs> so i'm like right. yeah come guys i'll help you out with that <laughs> so that's happening with jazz yeah. nation and couple of uh, like personal branding thing is what i do for mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. founders and ceos like since you are right. in marketing you uh. would not need it <laughs> but uh, yeah. guys who are into it and tech space and all geeky people you know who know about their industry but yeah helping them with their personal branding and everything what's uh, up with you you know what's what happens is mm-hmm. it's all good like you know what happens is when you don't know something mm-hmm. you can definitely teach somebody true true they don't know about their things so that's why they are reaching out to you you can help them So yeah, yeah way, sure. what we do is and sugar brown what we do is we help people and re- mm-hmm. achieving their goals and what they can do with their life yeah. and uh, how they can make some good money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's the thing because money is an an, an important thing like yeah. people say there are some philosophical people who say money is not everything okay money is not everything but it definitely help or helping in solving you a lot of problems for sure So uh, we focus on the bigger picture because uh, if you are sending your kid to the school, you are like you know doing any business or like you know uh, whatever headphone or the mic you are using, you need money yeah. to do that. True. To true. send you to send your things and to send your like you know opinions about things. Yeah. Uh, you need money. So a major goal what I have is let's grow rich together. Mm. Let's make mm. money together. Mm, money mm. is one thing yeah and above that what we are working on is empathy mm. okay helping each other and growing yeah growing mm. together uh, which makes us unique mm. so and, most of the uh, most... That's... sorry go ahead yeah go ahead no no you were saying something hey right? yeah i was just saying uh, like you know empathy is something which i need to focus on for now Hmm. because hmm. uh there have been problems there have been situations in everybody life yeah yeah and they need somebody who can hold their hand and they can pull out from that bell bottom things for sure for sure so, so the, uh, this so, these are the things you're talking about your clients when they reach out to you so um, you're saying you help them make right. money so their primary goal is sales are these like uh, smes msmes or like what sort of clientele are you are you working with uh it depends it depends like you know my major clientele is from mena region and north american region okay okay 80 80% clients come from there because like you know mostly i work in the night time hmm setting hmm. in india yeah. so uh, the major clientele i have in north america hmm hmm, hmm and hmm. in day time my team works on mena region like you know middle east and northern america northern africa Oh okay okay so mina they, is and I'm like are oh, okay yeah. okay <laughs> I thought this is some place in Haryana <laughs> No <laughs> No mina region Middle East and Northern Africa Yeah yeah so yeah. they get the clients from there and uh, into the Indian market we are not penetrating a lot for now but yeah we will be coming into the picture when it comes to the Indian market maybe uh, in next six months we will be having something good Mhm Okay. Okay. And so you started out with uh, that's interesting. So you started out with, with US clients, and now you'll be expanding to Indian markets. Is what you're trying to say? Indian market. We are targeting Australian Indian market as well. Okay. Ah, uh, but the major clientele which we are getting for now is Mena region, and mm-hmm. Indian market is our interest. Ah, uh, but mm-hmm. we are not focusing a lot because yeah, ROI doors, is very less. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. to do also. I mean, you get a better conversion by why to like, you know, you ask someone for like as an agency, you charge for a retainer. Yeah. Just asking like a mere forty five thousand rupees, they say, "Are you dude like forty five k for what you're posting?" That's so huge. <laughs> <laughs> and and they'll be and these people will be like, "Okay, you're just posting on social media. 
Yeah. What you are doing, you are just writing some content. We can get it from AI. We can write some content from Chat GPT, mm-hmm. and we can hire a freelancer who can do a graphic work on the posters and the videos in two thousand rupees. Why forty mm-hmm. thousand? Why seventy? One lakh rupees? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's where we come. Okay, now we can help you, and then we will educate you as well. So, uh, what I was saying is, we need to know like what people are actually looking forward to achieve hmm. uh, from mm-hmm. their campaign, from their work, and from their company. Yeah. Like for example, you are a retail store and you are coming to me. I need to increase my sales. Yeah. And I'll tell you, okay, I'll be charging you, let's say, two thousand dollars in Indian rupees. It's going to be one point five lakh rupees. Hmm. Okay. Then you'll be shocked. Okay, why one point five lakh rupees? Hmm. And I'll tell you, if I am charging you one point five lakh rupees, that means I'm adding some value, yeah. I'm educating you, and you'll be getting some return out of it. Hmm. 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 True. Like yeah, right. when when you when you're onboarding a marketing client, it can never happen in isolation, right? No matter what their goal right. is, they're they're looking for sales, they're looking you know for hiring or funding or whatever their purpose of doing right. social media is. Um. So any any specific niche that you work with or like you 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 you're able to work with anybody uh, everybody <laughs> uh, i'll tell you we are the jack of all trades so yeah. we can help you with everything but the major clientele which we are getting is from the real estate uh that's where we are we have mm-hmm. expertise and and uh, we can help you with restaurants we can help you with franchises we can help you with uh some it companies itself some saas products yeah and yeah. then we can help you with some like you know freelancing marketing as well and mm. another thing the uh, usp or you can say uh, the major preposition we have when mm-hmm. we sell our things uh, it comes into training people how to uh, grow themselves okay elaborate on this uh, so like there's a client like you mentioned whenever you talk to a client and you uh-huh. tell them yeah this is the pricing that we're going to be charging uh-huh. then they say oh chat uh-huh. gpt we'll use chat gpt and then we uh-huh. hire a graphic designer and you tell them are you doing it right. why not yeah and then it goes on yeah yeah then you go that on to like problem. when you say educating what what do you mean exactly uh what happens is for, let's take an example of linkedin okay yeah uh i was training people like you know it it, it happened in covid itself mm-hmm. and it happened when one of my client his name was xyz I yeah. cannot name the client. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, he came to me. He was a resident doctor in mm-hmm. some medical university in America. Yeah, in New Jersey. Okay, mm-hmm. he came to me. Okay, like you know, when you are getting some great exposure and you are training people how to work on LinkedIn professionally mm-hmm. and how to get the most out of LinkedIn. So why don't mm-hmm. you train our people, mm-hmm. our resident doctors? Yeah. That okay, this is how you can use LinkedIn properly. and mm-hmm. this is how you can at least have a personal brand over there yeah yeah because every doctor or every person is not somebody who will be just doing the business or who will be just doing the job they need mm. some passive income coming out of, out to them yeah so yeah. when it comes to the passive income we train people on how to use linkedin we for passive people, income how, yeah for the passive income how they can use it Okay. Okay. This is interesting. So, like, For how example, can a doctor, a how can designer. a doctor generate a passive income yeah. from LinkedIn? They can consult uh, okay. people on the human psychology. They can consult people on the first aid. They can mm. consult people on the like you know basic medicine structure. Beautiful. For example, you have fever. Mm. And now you are searching for somebody. Like you know, it doesn't happen if you have the fever. Then mm-hmm. you will go for paracetamol. Yeah, that's a basic drug you can have. Mm-hmm. But what happens is when I am a newbie, but I am aware of this platform. Yeah, I'll go there. Mm-hmm. I'll search for the right consultation. I'll find somebody because he is doing the right personal branding. Hmm. 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 And I'll talk to them. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. If I'm a regular on LinkedIn and if there's a guy who I'm following for a while. And yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, if they're open for a consultation, I have more trust in them for sure. That's. Yeah, and this was about the doctors. We can yeah. do the same thing on the graphic designing. We can do the same thing on the, like you know, uh, the coding, front end development, and the back end development, and the marketing stuff, content writing, content development, hmm. Hmm. and content marketing. Like, 
we can consult people hmm. and consultation hmm. is free of course for some yeah. people like yeah. sandeep maheshwari do this yeah right he has not monetized his channel till this date because yeah. he don't want to interrupt the experience of mm-hmm. his audience so if you want to be that human being who is not charging for their consultation their experience you could be yeah. that mm-hmm. that's a personal brand mm-hmm. if you want to charge about your consultation that's your choice mm-hmm. yeah he has his own that's goal i mean he's yeah. more like a social service sort of guy right right so that pretty much works for him so even the clients that i on board say like for personal brand they also come within the same like with the same expectations either it's the sales or they are a startup you know who are looking for high rank so yeah. they use their linkedin mm-hmm. for that so mostly it's just these two things yeah mm-hmm. so that's interesting that's man good. that's pretty interesting good so uh, when i was going through your linkedin and uh, you know sugar brown india that kind of stood out for me so i'm like are you, like i know the other way <laughs> like i know <laughs> brown sugar thing <laughs> but how, how we can talk you... about this <laughs> how come you 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 just replace that this thing <laughs> you made it sugar like brown a... or does like it come from that happens. word what's the what's the relevance of this word <laughs> it came from brown sugar okay it came from brown sugar like what happens is what happened actually mm-hmm. uh, i started working at the age of 20 okay yeah. and when i was working and uh, i completed my btech by education i'm an electrical engineer mm. and currently i'm working in it but by passion i'm into like you know spies technology and everything that's my mm. passion mm. how to spy on people and spy on people don't take it in another way mm. spying on people means i'm a data driven person okay. but like you know working on data but I mean, having, even if you like, literally you know, spying on people i won't judge you bro like that's okay no <laughs> like are pradhan ji kaise mark zuckerberg had a lawsuit on the same thing he was spying on people <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm not spying on people but i love looking at the trends and the data and everything okay mm-hmm. so what happened is uh, sugar brown came from the data itself okay okay uh when uh, i was thinking okay i was working with plexonic technologies if you check mm-hmm. my linkedin profile yeah plexonic technologies has taught me everything in my life mm-hmm. they are the people like you know uh, his founder is shant resvi okay uh, he is my mentor like from whole my life he has taught me a great things about marketing it sales and by profession i'm a sales and marketing guy mm-hmm. you tell me something uh i'll tell you okay how to make this happen okay. you tell me like you know there is a saying okay you sell me this pen this mm. is the thing yeah. so i've learned how to sell this pen mm. Mm. and now you give me any book anything that's what i learned from plexonic technologies but okay. what happens is when you are cons- consistently working with, on some space things or some similar things from a long time mm-hmm. then there is a point when you will feel saturation yeah that happened with me i was working with them i learned everything i learned about websites i learned about social media i learned about i learned about search engines i learned about content writing marketing everything like you know bots automation artificial intelligence chat ads like everything almost everything hmm 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 okay though i don't know how to do the coding i know the yeah. basic stuff but i am not a coder okay i'm a sales guy hmm. i have the knowledge about it okay hmm. so saturation came at that point and that's when i realized i need to do something else hmm. Hmm. now i'm not able to learn something new i spoke to shyam yeah my mentor i spoke to him and okay i'm not learning some new things let's inculcate or let's add some new technologies where i can learn something and i'll have my team also working on it okay but we were not at a stage where we can add something new we can add some new technologies we can add some new patterns we can add some new like you know things to our startup because that's also not a old company it started in 2013 yeah okay it's not an old company and that's where i found okay i want to resign 
and they were like okay you can join us back in one month two months six months one year two years like whenever you want to join Mm-hmm. doors are still the, the founder being your friend he gave you this this yeah. option mm-hmm. that you can join whenever right okay. mm-hmm. yeah whenever you are ready and whenever you feel like yeah. okay now you have learned about the market outside the company mm-hmm. and then i joined uh, some another company trident analytical solutions yeah uh, that's where i learned about new technology bots and that's where i designed my own bot that was mm-hmm. shopify bot Okay. where we can automate the sales on shopify okay 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 i worked there for 3 months and i was so good with sales i'm not bragging about me are uh, the certificates that i was so good with sales 3 hmm. months i worked with them and i was the best employee of the month back to back 3 months sweet, sweet, and sweet. then i left it i was like no i have reached this the pinnacle already in just 3 <laughs> <Yeah>. months <laughs> i don't want to do this yeah <laughs> and then i then i started planning okay let's do something of our own hmm. but what it should be let's increase or let's inculcate or let's you can you can say combine the emotions mm-hmm. technology humanity empathy all together and then i started sugar brown india and how the sugar brown india came into my mind i was coming from my office Mm-hmm. we were sitting at like you know roadside tea stalls tapdi pe baithe the that's where most so of the startups were... happen in india right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally it happened over there we were searching like i was talking to my friend there uh-huh. we were talking we were sitting outside my flat like you know, there was some auntie ek auntie thi wo bahut achi chai banati thi to hum log baat kar rahe the yaar kya kare maine i asked my that auntie as well yeah. auntie yaar kuch karne ka plan kar rahe hain to mm-hmm. auntie ka dhava tha Hmm. तो आंटी ने बोला कि तुम मेरे साइड में एक ढाबा डाल दो hmm. hmm. <laughs> क्या आंटी ये नहीं करना है मुझे <laughs> मुझे कुछ मुझे कुछ आईटी का करना है आईटी <laughs> बेटा ये तो मेरे को पता नहीं है ठीक <laughs> है <laughs> फिर देन वी स्टार्टेड सर्चिंग अबाउट द मैक्सिमम सोर्स्ड कीवर्ड्स ऑन द सर्च एंजिन ओके एंड इन 2019 इट वाज कमिंग ब्राउन शुगर मोस्ट सर्च टर्म टर्म ब्राउन शुगर and how to use it medically like there were some keywords long tail keywords as well mm-hmm. how to use brown sugar medically we okay. came across brown sugar then we started searching for more long tail keywords how to use brown sugar medically how it can release your stress how it could be good for you how you can replace it with white sugar we searched about a lot of things oh oh okay the the okay i i yeah. heard the other brown sugar dude i'm like why are we <laughs> <laughs> that is also <laughs> that's also there. <laughs> yeah that's also there i'm like hey, okay. i've seen these guys under the flyover using brown sugar <laughs> <laughs> and now you can have the brown sugar right here <laughs> So, okay. yeah. so yeah so uh, like you know we searched about a lot of things we did some complete research hmm. i was sitting there having sipping my tea at 5:30 and yeah. we did our research till 8 8:30 mm-hmm. and abhi mujhe raat ko 8 baje wapas office pahunchna hai mm-hmm. and but till that we were searching okay what should the right word right there this that we did some puzzle kind of thing and then we came out okay let's do sugar brown media Hmm. Hmm. that was the first goal yeah that's how we started we thought okay let's do this but sugar brown feels like some food product or brown yes. sugar feels like some food product okay hmm. there is some restaurant available as well brown, brown sugar, sugar. Yeah, yeah it's there in gk too yeah in my house yeah yeah hmm. so that's why we reversed the name okay let's do sugar brown media food and the media it won't look good Hmm, hmm, it hmm. was all like you know uh, we got some hit okay let's do this there was no plans ke okay, we need to do this we need to put this name hmm, there was hmm. no technical reasons there was no philosophy yeah we just got the right instinct with sugar brown india hmm, hmm. and then we started it there was no plans no technical reasons no consultation uh, no puja part nothing mm-hmm. we started it out of instinct out yeah. of instinct yeah say with say uh, for with the grace of god it's it's going good it's my third startup actually 
I started okay. my first thing in 2019. Okay. Like with the same name? Uh, within, no, no, like, no, no, was no. it this? Uh -huh. uh, when I was 19, that's when I started my first company. Oh. At the age okay. of 19. Yeah. And uh, that was the biggest failure you can ever assume. That's good, right? Because you should yeah. fail at the age of 19, no? <laughs> otherwise you'll become not so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, Like, you know, we'll be, we'll be out of hands with everybody. Like, you yeah. know, that's why uh, the tagline of Sugar Brown India is curious to fail. Uh, uh. Okay. And why that happened is at the age of 19, me and my friend, he's my neighbor. Mm -hmm. We were very curious about things. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, we were never into education. We used to bunk our classes. Mm, mm, mm. I never sat in my class. I failed in my 12th exam. And then I failed in my B.Tech as well. Like that was not good for me. Because I like, I don't want to do That's that. Okay. That's okay. As, I, a, as a good Indian yeah. citizen, you have to do engineering at some point of time, right? <laughs> you need to do because it will teach you a lot of things. <laughs> I did engineering for six months, dude, and then I'm like, all right, <laughs> no, not my thing. Six months? I completed my engineering in six years. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> At least you completed. <laughs> yeah, I completed. I don't know how, but it happened. Yeah. It yeah. was written. It was written in my destiny. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, you you you've one. done engineering. You have your startup, and it's just next step is just stand up comedy. You got to try that. Dude. <laughs> like, no, that's I don't. the natural <laughs> transition. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I want to educate people now about the psychology, about the other things. Yeah. Like you know, what uh, whatever my journey have been, I want to mm -hmm. let people know. Okay, this is how you should do, mm -hmm. and this is these are the things you should not do. Hmm. Hmm. That's gonna be my next book. Okay, elaborate on this. Like from when, when you when you when you say this is what you should do, this is what you should not do. Like, is it mm -hmm. is it like the Sandeep Maheshwari kind of thing? Like, this is how you should go about it, or is it no. coming from like a like a, a like a like a professional says like right? Uh, like a mental health uh professional. Uh, they have like steps and processes and everything. Are we talking like that? Uh no. Uh, I'm not kind of person. If you will ask me who is Dheeraj, mm -hmm. so Dheeraj is somebody who can never follow what you are telling me to do. Yeah, I cannot follow the path. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me to go east, I'll go west. Okay, because I need to find my own ways, I need to find my own path. True. If you will tell me, okay, you have to track this 10 kilometer mountain. I will track, mm -hmm. but I'll stop at some uncertain places, which you cannot find out. I'll mm -hmm. find out my livelihood from that places where I can actually live my life. Okay. And now when we are talking about uh, these patterns and the steps you should follow and you should not do, no. I'm talking about jatna fail ho sakte ho na life mein, utna zyada fail ho sakte. Maximum. Because maximum level what you can have in your life when it comes to failure is you can suicide. Hmm. Above that, nothing. You'll die. Hmm. Hmm. But what will happen if you'll die? That's the thing. I mean, if you kill yourself, that's, that's, that's miserable, dude. And I, I feel that yes. you should not fail so much that you should yes. eventually kill yourself. No. <laughs> That's that's where I'm differentiating myself from the audience, okay. from the like you know the so-called speakers and everybody, because we need to think about what will happen when we die, hmm. and people don't know hmm. what's gonna happen actually. I mean, if you're asking and me a the, miserable death, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, see, uh, failure is is something. If you, if you ask me personally, if you're having this conversation, I feel um, if you're failing constantly uh, over one thing again and again, then you got to figure something out because there could be like deep rooted something because of, uh, you know, you're failing again and again and you got to learn right. and overcome that. 
right uh, right because after a while it becomes really frustrating um you know uh because you you start to expand your life right it's not just right. you eventually like like you said you started when you were 19 and uh, you know mm-hmm. you might have gotten successful by the age of say like 25 26 and mm-hmm. uh, at that time no one is like dependent on you not your girlfriend your family or your friends or whatever yeah, no but but, mm-hmm. but once once the shit goes serious like people start <laughs> expecting from you you know your uh-huh. your your wife gets pregnant your parents get old and now you know mm-hmm. there's a very little scope for experiment and everything so i mean that's when the no. shit gets serious right no mm-hmm. uh that's where we need to learn things mm-hmm. because what happens is when you will start feeling the burden on your shoulders no your creativity will be gone mm-hmm. when you fe- when you'll start feeling like okay now these people are dependent on me no matter what I'm doing, I need to make at least 50K or $100,000 or 100,000 rupees in my one month. That's where your creativity will be gone. Mm-hmm. And that creativity, your innocence, your like you know experiments, that should stay with you. Okay. If that experiments are not staying with you, then you're just living a robotic life. Hmm. You're not learning anything new. You're just following a routine. In morning, you'll go to office. Afternoon, you'll have the lunch. Evening, you'll come to home. Then you'll spend some time with kids. Family, you'll sleep. Hmm. What kind of life this is? I really don't want that kind of life. I want something which can teach you something. Every day. Never stop experimenting out of your life. Yeah. Keep learning things. And when I was talking about, uh, like, you know, we should, what we should not do, the only thing we should not do is think about others. Yeah, yeah. It's a blunt statement. We should think about others, but in a positive way. Hmm. We should not take it as a burden on our shoulders. Okay, they are my responsibilities. I do a responsibility. Hmm. You cannot take care of your father the, fa- the way your father can take care of you. Hmm. Hmm. You will be a fear. Your father will keep your attention. Hmm. But if your father will fail, we cannot take care of him. We cannot take care of him the way he can take care of us. So in order to fail, in order to try new things, you need to learn how to take care of your family like your father did. Hmm. like your mother did coming from the different family yeah and now making a couple and learning new things hmm. yeah They're that's my way ma- together sort of right 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 hmm. because uh, like you know uh, two people coming out of some different backgrounds and then they are learning new things they are yeah. growing they are making babies and they are growing them and they are like, you know, they're learning new things from their kids as well. Hmm, hmm. My mom used to tell me, okay, uh, yeah, what's up? Kya hota hai? Can you tell me? Yeah, I remember those times when they started yeah. using WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll be like, uh, what do I need to do? How do I need to tell them? Abhi, video call kaise karna hai? Ab video call me like, they will be like, itta, itta they'll show their half face. And they were like, okay, I'm in a video call, yaar. Sirf itna dek rahe. Stop me. <laughs> Don't disturb me. <laughs> it will happen. So, yeah. and this is the last generation. Where, like, you know, Instagram pe bhi chalta na, like, this is the last generation where we have the innocent parents. Mm-hmm. Our kids. And we, we are like, spy <laughs> <laughs> because, because we know how to take care of things. <laughs> true, true. At least technology wise, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so uh, 2019 is when you started out, right, Thiru? 2019 is when you yeah, started. De- uh, to be very specific, de- 19th of December 2019. 2019. Hmm. Yeah, we really? got the incorporation. Sweet. So uh, everything has been bootstrapped. It's been four years, right? 
Yeah, it will be will be touching four years in December. So, so how was how was the journey. how big is the team now? Uh, and and Se like, uh, not a very big team, but seventeen. Seventeen. Sweet seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. All based out of like <laughs> uh, office is in Rohtak, or do you have like other? Uh, like what happens is there are only two people who work with me in office. Okay. And everybody is working from home. Hmm. Yeah. For some reasons. I don't want to increase my expenses. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to take the big off. <laughs> Also, like we were talking know. about it yesterday, right? Uh, ki, uh, like when the COVID had hit, uh, you you mm -hmm. had actually started around that time only, right? When we when the COVID was starting, like we got the hint yes. of there is something, something as COVID. Yes, yes. And then huh. all of the people who might have joined you, they joined you during that phase. And then, you know, asking them to now come to office is like a whole, whole drama in itself. So why do I to just do that, right? No, I want to do that, actually. Okay. Okay. I want to call everybody at my office. Mm -hmm. And I want to work with everybody in person. Because what happens is, like the way we are talking, when we are mm -hmm. talking online, it's different. Mm -hmm. When we'll meet, we'll hug, we'll like, you know, shake hands. That'll yeah. be a different vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Actually. And that's what I want to feel with everybody. Yeah. That's what I want to feel with everybody. Hmm. Okay, like you know, they, I have hired almost, uh, like you know, I'll be specific, twenty-eight people till this date okay. in Sugar Brown. Hmm. And currently, we are working with seventeen. Hmm. Uh, like you know, some people have hired, some people left. Yeah. And it's a sim simple policy I have. I should not, like you know, it's a simple policy which should be followed by every startup actually. Like you know, what happens is, what happened actually, most of the startups start out of emotions hmm. with their family hmm. with their close friends hmm. that personal life is different work yeah. life is different yeah. yeah and we should not hire somebody we cannot fire hmm. Hmm. so we need to fire people when it comes to you know business when it comes to work so hmm. 28 are hired 17 we are working with hmm. 11 i fired some people and some people left. That's all. Okay. And, and all of these guys are, are like from in and around the office. Hmm, sorry, go ahead. No. Only two people uh, who are working with me and uh, the major development team I have, they are in Jharkhand. Okay. Okay. And the marketing team is sitting in Gurgaon. Hmm. And the writers are sitting all across the India, like you know, some are northeast people, like Bengali people. I have two hmm. Bengali girls. They write really so well. Right? <laughs> yeah. I have two Bengali girls. They are so sweet. They write the best content. Hmm. Yeah. They are good with poetry, and clients are most satisfied with that two girls. Like, A lot of my like, like, friends you know, are content writers only. Even. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, like right, I'm in Kalkaji, so there's there's like a CR Park, so, so, so there's a place called CR Park, right? It's a Bengali territory uh -huh. here. So, uh, I mean, most of my friends yeah. from there are content writers. They are amazing only. people. True. Yeah. So, uh, that's how it's happening and only two people are working with the rest. They are working from home. Yeah. I don't want to increase my expenses, though I want them to work together. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they need to know, they need to meet people. Like, you know, what is happening now? Content writers are not meeting the developers. Developers are not meeting the graphic designers. Graphic designers are not meeting sales people. Mm -hmm. We are just talking over the phone. And that's not good. I mean, uh, good or bad, bro. I mean, I mean, it might just, it might just come into like, it might just manifest into something that uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, it. I uh, like uh, me myself have worked in an agency in my initial days of understanding marketing and social media and everything. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, with creative people, it's good. 
right? Um, the content writers yeah. and graphic designers and everything. But when it comes down to like or like sitting with BD guys and then the targets and then we need to do. Bro, unko sunana ja ke yar. I really. <laughs> <laughs> no i really want everybody uh, uh, to know about their own problems like you know what's happening now i'm the one person of like you know one contact they everybody have yeah. i'm listening to writers i'm listening to developers i'm listening to like you know writers marketers this that everything is revolving around my head hmm. now hmm. i want them to take care of their problem at their own don't <laughs> come to me so <laughs> all the person <laughs> don't talk to me yeah yeah so i want their i want them to be their own companion i know what you mean at some place of time yeah yeah i mean it yeah i i know what you I mean it becomes it becomes, it becomes it becomes like yeah important and you because most of the time in the day you're working and it's always just good to be with cool people right when you're working and yeah right. it's 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 nice to be with nice people um given that we spend most of our most, most of our time working the day so yeah i know what you mean i was just getting right. about that ki much na mere ko apne sales ka that's okay aaj aaj to manager ne class le li yaar target pura nahi ho raha incentive nahi milega <laughs> so how were the initial days like for you um dheeraj like uh, who was your first client how did you acquire them tell me tell me uh, more about my, the initial days uh, my, i will talk about my first client and the first employee we'll talk hmm. about both the things yeah okay first employee was my school friend okay that's okay. interesting and yeah it was he was my school friend and i hired him for nothing okay i told him okay uh, we'll have some whiskey in the night mm-hmm. every weekend and we'll work mm. he was like okay ghar pe baith ke kar ke aa raha hu chal theek hai tu jaa to pilaega main kya okay aur uska kaam kya tha uh he was in sales acha theek hai so you started with cold calling hey cold calling no we started uh there were three things we started with we started with upwork okay cold calling and linkedin mm. Mm. and uh, this daru joke was uh, nothing like that was just a, just the a humor mm. uh but when i hired him like it was not a hiring hiring thing we yeah. were talking about that yeah mm. and uh, i shared my idea with him okay like this is what i'm doing एंड उसका पहला सवाल ये था लेकिन it's so, a very phonetic story but it happened actually with me yeah yeah, yeah. all I that's why i'm interested because all these initial yeah. years are very crazy you know <laughs> it is it is yeah. and i can name this guy i can tell you you can search about him you can talk to him and his name is sunil ujwal okay okay currently he's not working with me hmm. uh, he got married and due to some family restriction problems like after marriage he was not able to work in the night time because mm-hmm. uh, that's the most productive time i have yeah. okay so <clears throat> after marriage like he shifted to some new locations and we didn't get out of connection but we stopped working together he mm-hmm. got into that basic 9 to 5 job now he's doing good in his life i'm very happy we talk we talk about initial days we talk about okay targets we talk about talking to people and still mm. the clients he gave to sugar brown yeah. they are still in touch with me and they are so amazing mm. so he was my first employee not employee he was my friend but okay yeah. officially he was an employee of sugar brown yeah and uh, my first client was the same guy this medical guy i was telling you no oh, okay. uh, i was i thought it was a hypothetical story <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Nah, it was not. <laughs> I cannot tell the name of my client. Of course, but of course. it was not an hypothetical situation. Yeah. I'm currently training people out of University of Buffalo. Oh, New Jersey. Okay. On personal training. branding on in on LinkedIn and everything. Uh, not personal branding actually. How to use LinkedIn professionally? Because doctors okay. don't know how to use it professionally. Hmm. What kind of hmm. post they should do? They treat in LinkedIn like Facebook. They treat hmm. LinkedIn like Instagram. But hmm. it's a different platform. Yeah, it's a yeah. B2B platform where you need to like you know create a different kind of vibe. I know what you mean. Yeah. They eventually yeah. end up posting about motivation and all of that. So yeah, yeah, that gets cringy after a while. Yeah. And I don't want them to do this. Hmm. I want them to post about something very crazy, some stories. Doctors hmm. have the amazing doctors have amazing stories. By yeah. Way. Yeah. They can tell you about patients. They can tell you about okay, there was a kid or the girl. Mm. She came to me and I was like, you know, there are a lot of stories. Like I've been listening to them. I mean, the doctor, as a doctor of the University, University of Buffalo, mm. they tell me the craziest story available. <laughs> Everything is amazing. So, so you he mentioned... was my first client, and mm. how I onboarded them. Yeah. Like, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Uh, I guess the network was getting patchy. And he, anyway, you yeah, missing something? No, no. Okay. Hmm. So, like, you know, uh, onboarding my first client was a very different thing. Like, I was sitting in Chennai yeah. and I was working in some govern government project. Okay. We were working with GST, hmm. Central GST. Uh, that's a vertical of Delhi government, Council yeah, yeah. GST. Okay. So, uh, we got a contract to make the, like, you know, you can say the web series kind of thing, how GST work. Okay. So we were, uh, uh, product, we were doing the production of that web series over there in Chennai. Hmm. And that's hmm. where uh, I was introduced to him by the commissioner of GST. Okay. okay. I mean, the commissioner of Chennai GST. Hmm. He introduced me to this guy. Okay. And he was like, okay, there is an, there is an amazing guy. He hmm. is giving me 30 minutes. In his mm. film, mm. it's not my film, it's your film. I'm <laughs> just shooting. You're the commissioner, that's why you're getting 30 minutes in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this was a project when you had a job. That's how or, it happened. Or, or was it through the agency? Uh, December December 2019, we started this. We got in, in corporation. January, we were doing this project. Achha, achha. You, you did like a video production for these guys, and then they recommended. Um, uh, yeah. the doctor guy to you and you you onboarded him mm -hmm. right and uh, you mentioned uh, uh, you mentioned like in the initial stages you used to do cold calling you used to do LinkedIn DMs and uh, you said and Upwork Upwork up up so you up still work. do that and what are your strategies to just reach out to new clients uh, uh, reaching out to new clients is not uh, my things now because like, you know, I don't do sales anymore of because course. I'm involved into some other things as well. Yeah. Uh, but the inbound leads I get from LinkedIn, okay. that's where I'm focusing for now. Mm -hmm. And the inbound leads we are getting from the references, that's what I focus on. But mm -hmm. my sales team, they are focusing on LinkedIn, cold calling of work. And we have added another thing which I cannot share with you. Uh, that's a new strategy we are building on and uh, it might work and then we can shoot another video around that uh, of, I mean, the particular thing which I cannot share with you right now but mm -hmm. it will come in picture. Mm -hmm. We will mm -hmm. be selling, uh, like you know, we are building a SaaS product actually. Okay, okay. And it will give plenty of leads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean okay. the potential clients. Yeah, I good leads. Interesting. Cool. Um, so yeah, yeah I wanted to I wanted to understand this from a perspective of say like there'll be there'll be guys who are listening to this and then you know they are in the same field they might have started their own agency or might want to just start their agency they are working in an agency right now or working with the brand and they want to start their own thing. Um, so like for me personally, cold emails work the best. Right, cold emails and cold calling uh, mm -hmm. used to work really well. But I realized that, you know, I am the only one who's able to do it well. So there is no point, you know, um, mm -hmm. 
keep following that strategy when you are the only one who's good at it right because you because i was not able to scale the cold calling thing um so i'm like yeah let's just drop this just let's just do the emails and you know this this Makes is sense. this mm-hmm. is this is where Makes most of the clientele comes from so yeah why to waste the uh-huh. time so uh-huh. that's pretty dope um so yeah just just coming down to that um so i want to ask you uh, so there are a lot of guys who will be listening to this and uh, if they want to start out you know um their their journey into marketing um mm-hmm. and uh, have their own thing going on what would you suggest they should they should they start with the job gain some experience then start an agency and then start dming and cold calling like what would be your your piece of advice for 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 the listeners who want to be, do the same thing as you all right uh, that's a great question i'll tell you never start something new out of fancy mm-hmm. because uh, you will suffer a lot suffer english wala hindi wala mm-hmm. mein you will suffer a lot and there will be a lot of struggles okay. so i'll tell you about my journey i gave ssp like you understand ssp indian army service mm-hmm. selection board okay it's a pattern it's an exam to join indian army as an officer or okay. any defense force as an officer yeah i gave six attempts and i failed six times okay that's where i got the patience mm mm-hmm. okay i failed once i failed twice i failed first time when i was 18 why mm. i wanted to join indian army i cleared nd national defense academy the written exam yeah and then i attempt i appeared for the interview it's a five days interview mm. and then i failed in that interview first time at the age mm. of 18 19 mm. i failed 20 i failed 21 i failed 22 i failed 23 i failed six times back to back mm. it taught me patience it taught me the power of never giving up yeah it taught me the power of resilience it taught me the power of like you know persuasion it taught me the power of everything about mm. the society mm. about understanding the burden on yeah. the shoulders about failures about the family about the society about everything mm. so if you want to start something first suggestion is never afraid of a failure yeah and don't ever think about what people are thinking about you mm. Mm. you just need to like you know why we have two years listen from this and get it out from you yeah because if you will take it to your head it will kill the like you know that innocence the child out of you of course so rather than taking the burden let it go if you fail mm. now you will achieve something in next mm. attempt mm. not in this attempt. next 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 yeah there's never a failure okay there could be bad situations but a not a bad human being hmm hmm so whatever you are doing you are good at it that's what you need to work on and now when it comes to starting a new agency or you want to do something of your own these are the patterns you need to follow yeah. you need to work on uh, like you know securing yourself mentally and if you want to start something of your own you need to have the right skills hmm if you feel like for example you are in sales like mm-hmm. me i did like you know for example i did 100000 dollars in 6 months okay in indian rupees it's a good money 100000 yeah. dollars yeah. around 70 80 lakh rupees sure we should not be on like you know on the cloud 7 okay i did 100000 dollars now i can sell anything mm. that's not how it works yeah 6 months could be the right time for you 6 months could be uh, the best time you had of your life Mm. and after 6 months you're going to have the downfall mm. mm-hmm. so you have to prepare yourself for that time as well okay mm. this was the good time when i had the right sales mm. Mm. it might not happen tomorrow you might not get the right numbers to do the cold calling yeah your emails cold emails you were talking about right yeah. it may land into spam mm. Mm. what would you do then you will be like okay now at that time your confidence will shatter into pieces because mm. you were very confident okay i did this now i can win the world okay mm. you can win the world yeah but you need to have the right strategy true and least expectations mm. Mm. 
when you're starting something, for example, if I'm wearing this shirt and you're wearing this chain or this shirt and this headphones, hmm. ho sakta hai, True. least expectations is one thing. Starting something is good. Hmm. If you want to change the world, good. You can uh, like you know turn around the world, that's good. You can put Latin America into Asia, that's good. Hmm. But you should know how to put Latin America into North America first. Yeah. And then that that two continents into Africa, then you'll bring it to Europe, then you'll bring it to Asia. Hmm. You cannot like directly you'll kick it from here and it will come here. It won't yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what you mean is what so what you mean here is what I'm what I'm able to understand from your is um like have like a target and have an effective strategy to go about it, right? Um, like you mentioned, if you're doing cold, whatever, or you don't have good leads, then what's the point of calling? If if you are landing into spam, then what's the point of doing that? So have an effective strategy right. and mm-hmm. also do the basics first, right? Like you mentioned, Latin right. America, say Asia, se mix up karne se pehle. just 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 take care of the nearby stuff that you have on your plate. Right. Don't think don't think like huge and massive in the initial stages. That's like putting a burden on yourself and you know, right. My my just I hmm. I can I can wrap up this all the I mean this question in one sentence. Yeah. Uh never get fancy about things. Mm-hmm. Never get fancy about things. Yeah. And always think about your future goals. Okay, you have a dream, then distribute into like you know, fragment, make some fragments. Okay, mm. this is my first goal. For example, I want to work out of law. I need to take my first step. Yeah. If I want to start my agency, I need to make a website first. Yes. And the basic thing is it is good that you mm. know everything. But if you're not good at something, hire people. Hmm. Don't try to do everything at your own. If you're not good at something, hire people. So and what would you suggest? Uh, so like if there's a guy who's like an 18-year-old chap um, or, or like a 21-year-old chap straight out of college, no experience, mm-hmm. they know stuff. They've done a BBA or an MBA or a whatever. Uh, should they should they like go in for a job gain experience from there should they, should they do like a hit and trial because um i did the job route like personally what i felt was those are not transferable skills that you learn from job of course like the team like uh, when i when i joined the agency when i did back whenever i did that like 2018 2019 um mm-hmm. I have always been okay chill with people, right? Uh, like people uh-huh. have never been an issue. Like I've always chilled with school time, say college time. Say. So yeah, managing the team was not like a like a corporate sort of managing the team. Huh? Uh-huh. Client has told me something, I have to get that done. But I don't have to be like, oh, Meda, teri aise ki, aise ki, khadi, khadi ho, yeah. so I'm like, huh, I just have to get the work done by the yeah. end of the day. But yeah, you got to chill also, right? right? Because right. yeah, your people are more important than what your client is telling you to do that. So yeah, I was very clear in that head. So those those skills were never transferable for me when I started doing my business. But I want mm. your input on this. Like would would like gaining a experience in a job would be better or just hidden trials, just just do your thing, fail, fail again, and then do like what would you suggest? No, uh, like you know, what happens is if you will look at the bigger picture, yeah, uh, for example, I'm 18 and I would be in first year and second year of college, yeah, I could be, uh, like you know, I did just my 12th at that time, could yeah. be a possibility if I'm late. So, first of all, we need to understand what are our capabilities and what are our skills. Hmm. Hmm. Post them. Yeah. If we understand ourselves hmm. and we understand what our passions, mm-hmm. if you don't understand your passion, then it will definitely go in vain. Yeah. When I started my first venture when I was 19, mm-hmm. it was out of fancy because I wanted to make money. Yeah. We did great money in one year, but after one year, 
we were bound to close it because we don't know how to use the money, how to reinvest into the business. Hmm. Hmm. That was a step which we took. Our family was very happy because we are making money at 19. A good money. Good money I'm talking about. Yeah. But after the things happened and it was a blunder, we don't know how to take care of clients. We got mm. the money, we sold them, everything was good. We made a profit of 30 lakh, 40 lakh in a, in a year. A person who is 19, what do he expect? Nothing. Yeah. party. Uh, that's it. Usko aur kuch nahi hmm. Jo thoda sa aur aage ka they need a car, uh, they need a bungalow, uh, they need other things, trips, vacation, hmm. holidays. Hmm. So we need to understand what is our skill, what is our passion. Yeah. If we don't know that, then get into a job, learn the things, understand yourself, and then work on yourself. Makes sense. Without knowing yourself, hmm. uh, okay, you might get successful for a year or two, but eventually you'll fail. I know what you mean. Makes total sense, Joy. Yeah, that makes total sense. If if you're not very clear about what you want out of your business, because you use your clients' hard-earned money, so you should know where where it's heading and where your where your right. Right. company is heading. Yeah, that makes total sense. Now. It's so now it's not only you are failing, you are failing, your company is failing, your name is failing because you like you know, there is a data which I always talk about. Yeah, there will be some database after 20 30 years. If you are going to some investor who can invest in my company, then yeah. they'll ask you, Okay, at the age of 19, you did this and this happened. Yeah, where did you use that money? Uh, uh. Karma is a bitch. It will <laughs> come back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know so, what you're talking about. And I have done that. Yeah. I have, I've, I've been the culprit <laughs> of that as well. Yeah, just, <laughs> just nasty, okay. just being nasty with clients' money. All right, just, just give it money. Just give me money, or I'll sort <laughs> you out forever. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, whenever you when when you're 18, 19 your parents are giving you like whatever eight ten thousand a month and then a client is telling you are you do this I'll, I'll give you like much more than what your parents are <laughs> and from one client and yeah. you have seven eight client ten clients and then <laughs> you're making a... okay here and then we will be very blunt in front of in front of our family okay you're paying me what eighteen thousand rupees or ten thousand rupees <laughs> i'll pay you that money <laughs> And I'm saving other. True. <laughs> Don't stop me now. I'm going to be a rich guy. Rich guy in your ass, man. <laughs> You'll fail. True. So uh, back, uh, when when we were talking with the call, Dheeraj, you mentioned something about um, generating employment um, in tier two, tier three cities, at least doing your part of it. Like you mentioned, you know, uh, if, if a girl wants to work, especially in a tier two, tier three city, though she has skills, but she, she won't be able to land the job if in case she gets the job in Noida or or, or, a, or a Delhi and or whatever. That's so that's, you, hmm, you, you want to do yeah, your yeah. part of just generating good, empl good, good, skilled, skilled employment in tier two, tier three. So yeah, share, share like what, what you really meant by that. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, you know, what happens is, for example, I'm a girl, uh, naive girl. Mm. Okay. I'm a very uh, peaceful kind of girl, but I know how to use computer. Yeah. I know how to use social media. I know uh, how to negotiate with people. My negotiation skills are good. My sales skills are good. My IT skills are good. Uh, my legal skills are good. Like, whatever skills I have. Yeah. Okay. But... Uh, I have very orthodox family. Mm -hmm. It could be a father, it could be a mother, it could be a brother, it could be a grandparents, it could be yeah. anybody. Yeah. Okay. Who are who, whom you are living with? Mm -hmm. You have done your like you know schools. You have done your education from in your college, yeah. and now you are facing having some struggles. 
in actually using that skills which you have learned and implement implementing them mm-hmm. to help people that's where uh, i was talking about we need to know where our kids or our children our society is good at yeah and then help them then like you know uh, getting them or like you know serve them at least good desert yeah yeah wherever they are they, they should not they, they don't need yeah. to leave their home just to earn a bit of money they right the, yes they, they don't need to yeah they just need the right opportunity and the right people and the right connections uh, that's where like you know i came across uh, i spoke to so many mothers as well लाइक इसके पापा ना इसको कहीं बाहर जाने के लिए अलाउ नहीं कर रहे हैं फिर अभी आफ्टर दैट सिचुएशन और दैट वो लड़की बोल रही है कि यार मेरे भाई को तो जाने दिया आपने आप मुझे नहीं जाने दे रहे हो फिर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन क्यों यहां पर ऐसा नहीं है कि लड़के को जाने दिया लड़की को नहीं जाने दिया ऐसा सिचुएशंस है एक्चुअल में है आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हरियाणा या फिर रोहतक रोहतक में ऐसा नहीं है बट hmm. जो एक पेरिफेरी है ना थर्टी फोर्टी किलोमीटर का hmm. वहां पर है राजस्थान hmm. में जाओगे है देर सम विलेजेस आप आ, कहीं यूपी में चले जाओ कुछ एरियाज में वहां पर है hmm. वो hmm. नहीं जाने देते बच्चों को बाहर hmm. कि आपका ये एरिया है यू नीड टू वर्क ओवर हियर एज वेल तो दैट्स वेयर आई नीड टू पेनिट्रेट एंड आपको अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम है टेल मी ज्यादा नहीं बट आई बी एबल टू एम्प्लॉय पांच दस पंद्रह बीस पचास कुछ तो एम्प्लॉयमेंट आई कैन जनरेट एटलीस्ट डूइंग योर पार्ट इज इज मोर देन एन आउट इवन इफ इट्स लाइक यू नो वन गाय यू आर एबल टू मेक वन इज सफिशिएंट यस यस आई मीन या सो एंड लाइक यू नो देयर आर नो आईटी कंपनीज नियर माय होम टाउन आई एम सिटिंग हियर लाइक यू नो पीपल आर सो फेनेटिक अबाउट लाइक यू नो व्हेन आई जब भी लाइक ऐसा कुछ होता है ना लाइक द आई गो टू माय विलेज इट्स 21 किलोमीटर फ्रॉम हियर आई गो देयर एंड देयर इज सम कन्वर्सेशन गोइंग ऑन एंड आई पुट माय राइट फैक्ट्स दे विल बी लाइक वाओ दिस गाय इज डूइंग अमेजिंग आई वाज लाइक आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग इन इंग्लिश गाइस आई एम टॉकिंग इन बिग वर्ड्स फिलैंथ्रोपी बोल दिया भाई ने क्या कर दिया मतलब कुछ नहीं किया सो व्हाट्स द हेल आई एम डूइंग आई एम डूइंग नथिंग So I want to help that. You are doing amazing stuff, yeah. I mean, yeah. Personally, you are not never able to say that for yourself. But just hearing you out and looking at the thing that you're doing and the thing that you're aiming for, it's amazing, dude. And that's it. You know, and uh, yeah. So it was a lovely, lovely conversation, dear. Thank you for. <laughs> I um, really appreciate it. Thank you for sparing our time for this, dude. And. Uh, Yeah, it was it was lovely talking to you, and uh, let's yeah. So oh, I'll I'll oh. maybe maybe come to Rohtak. We'll have a chai or something. Maybe we'll also Definitely. discuss a bit. We'll discuss a business idea to the part. Definitely. <laughs> we'll call it brown sugar. Definitely, children. like brown. <laughs> I can I can have the like you know brown sugar for you. <laughs> I can get it. That's not a problem. But I'm talking about the sweet taste. Hmm. <laughs> I was talking about the trip. <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Shanti, Shanti. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, once again, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, Dheeraj. It was lovely talking. Thank to you. you so much. I really and, appreciate uh, it. Let's let's do more of these and you know keep doing the great things and yeah definitely let's get it massive bro perfect all righty signing thank off thank you yeah see you see you soon yeah, take bye. care bye likewise